hello and welcome back so in this video we are going to design the content area and the footer actually content area normally doesn't take extra time because it's pretty simple all we need to delete that and so i'm gonna add things here first of all i'm adding a div and in this div i'm adding i'm adding a class i'm using the class main and i'm going inside and adding another div and adding a class again and here or i think instead of the class main what if we simply change it to main which is not very necessary but just to make it semantic when we know we can apply something semantic so why we don't use that and this one i'm deleting and making the h1 and here i'm adding it the title this is the title now i'm going down and here i'm opening it again h5 and here i'm writing category category test a cut this and paste here hyper reference hush and here date 10 10 20 okay whatever okay now let's just move on to the next area and i'm making it as a section by now or there is one more okay section is cool there is one more semantic tag and i'm gonna apply that here article okay so because ultimately is an article i'm pasting i'm cutting that off and pasting it inside i'm not very happy and fan of these extra texts um this doesn't actually suit the section instead i should make it the p tag like that and now here i'm writing now from where i'm picking the data i'm going to the browser now here at the browser all i need is to okay write lipsum.com okay from the lipsum.com we can pick some dummy data and uh, here i'm copying this okay not this one i'm going down and there is a text i'm copying this this one and copying all now going there okay here i'm pasting it and now i'm going back to the browser refreshing the page now you can see that the text is there now i'm deleting the bg light because i'm not finding it very good i'm adding in a style here background and i'm white now saving it refreshing that so there is what we've added I'm going there back and uh, um doing some more tweaks i'm adding the margin first 10px the padding 20px and saving and i'm making i'm making some specific height for this because of our content is not very big so i'm adding some specific height to it refresh that now it looks more good than the previous one now i'm gonna go to the call 12 and going inside and adding the footer class bg dark in here i'm simply writing p tag copyright 2020 and saving refresh the page so there it is but it is absolutely not looking fine it is the time to make it bg light and here is style padding 20 pixels refreshing that okay that's okay now this is a very basic structure of a web page you can design using the bootstrap text light text center refresh that now there it is so this is a very basic structure of a web page you can make using the bootstrap so i think you just got the actual meaning of doing this you just got how we can actually use the grid systems and their little tweaks and why and what we should not do and what we should do so in the next lecture we're gonna uh, work on the go language and we're gonna apply these things we learned in the go language by now so till then goodbye